Hey everybody, today I wanted to make a quick video about com badges. Um, since Picard ended up kind of been on a vintage TNG kick, um, and I decided I wanted a com badge, but then the question was which one to get. <laughs> so, um, I found these old QVC as seen on TV ones. They chirp. They have this, uh, I have a couple extra magnets on here, but they have this thing that you can pop it open and replace the batteries. They're LR41s, and all you have to do is peel up these two little tabs and kind of push the batteries out on the sides here, here and here. Not where the solder is, but where these little metal tabs are and then you can replace the batteries that way. This one doesn't work, but this one obviously does, and um, it actually came with a um, Generations Voyager badge, which is upstairs on my fridge. But I put, a I put a magnet on the back of this one so I could stick it on my fridge also. But um, the problem, I don't know if you can tell, that's not actually exactly the right sound. I think it is a Star Trek sound of some kind, um, but it's not the correct combat sound. So I started looking into other ones. This one I got just because it's the old original official pin. It doesn't do anything. But this one, this one has sound also. It's old. This one uh, that hasn't had the batteries changed, so it doesn't do anything. But um, that's actually what we have here. I got one that I already took apart. Um, and the way it works is the delta, that's what the triangle thing's called apparently, is sort of a rocker switch. I don't know if you can see that. And it pushes a little button. Actually, I can show you here. Pushes a little button right there, which pushes this, and listen to that. The to Enterprise. Two to beam up. Now I wanted to point out about one of these, if you get one and you change the battery and you notice that the chirp isn't the right pitch, I kind of noticed that if I um, hit it a certain way, it would chirp at the correct pitch, which I believe is this. Um, and what I had to do to get it to work once I played with it was I had to kind of push this leaf switch thing over to the right, just kind of bend it over that way. And the farther right on the little metal pad it touches, um, the higher it seemed to be. And that seemed like the right one. And this also takes an LR41, so definitely trickier to change the batteries on, but it's the same deal. You pry up the little tab and slide them out. But the problem is, this switch is also attached to one of them. And I think it's glued in here. I don't believe there's any way to get this out. So you have to be really careful when you change the batteries because you kind of hear like if you pull on it too hard you kind of hear like a sickly cracking sound so kind of got to be careful with that one. But um, the problem with this one as you can see it's really really thick and it's meant to be pinned on. Now I went to a couple cons in the 90s and I remember seeing people walking around in truck uniforms with their badge pulling down their shirt. Um, if you look at it from the back here you can see so, what I was thinking was that it would be awesome to have the chirp of this one with the cool slim design or close to it of this one. So what I'm in the process of doing is basically trying to use this bottom part, take these pins out. Now you'll notice, oh, let me show you how you take it apart. Um, it's got these little legs that go in at the top. And I just used a thin guitar pick and went back and forth and pulled it out. And it's got these two little legs right here at the top that hold it in. Um, and ingeniously, it seems like the pins are like little nails that are in the same hole as the little poles. Let's see. But pointing in the opposite direction. So in theory, I should be able to do this and push these out of the other side. And that does appear to be 
the case. So, there you go. Pull those guys out. See, that's, you hear that sound? That's a scary sound. Oops, if I quit dropping it. But, yeah. So, I can't get that out. I'll, I'll give up in a second, but I'll get it later. But anyway, so the idea is to probably um, grind this part down and this part here, and then I'm going to have to cut a little oval, half oval on each side of the switch pusher thing, because these, I got these super strong, I think you pronounce it, neodymium magnets, um, and that's going to be, so the idea is to kind of put the mag magnet there, glue it down, get some epoxy here, also super glue, but I have to make enough room on both sides of it for it to be able to push against the switch. And then the idea would be you'd stick that bad boy on there, and then this part of it would be on the inside, and then this part would stick to the outside, just like this one works. So, I hope that makes sense. Um, I think that was everything that I wanted to mention. Um, I do have another badge coming, a Koser Mart from China, um, which has the black edging around the Delta. So, if that one looks nicer, I'll probably give that one a shot. But hopefully, once I get this thing all flattened out, if I can, and get the magnet mounted on it, it won't matter which badge I use as long as... The magnets aren't north and south pole to each other or something like that. But anyway, I hope this is helpful. I hope too much wasn't out of the frame. And I'll be having a couple more Star Trek video, uh, videos coming. A other stuff I bought. So thanks for watching.